What is going on guys, Name is here and today I'm bringing you guys an announcement video. If you guys did notice, Optic Nation announced that they picked me up as their fourth. So it's going to be really awesome competing alongside some of my best friends on one of the best organizations in Call of Duty. Um, I couldn't ask for a better combination and I think it's just going to be really awesome to compete with them and you know represent the Optic brand at Worlds. Um, it's a tournament for 250 grand so all, all this Black Ops 3 stuff that we'll get into in a bit, as you can see on the t-shirt. I'll talk about or I'll think about and I'll start focusing on after this huge tournament because I really want to put in the hard work and I really want to place well and do well you know for all my fans for all the optic fans and you know just for my friends like I like this team um, for those of you who don't know it's me Embo's Ricky and Mir um, I like this team a lot because we're all good friends in and out of the game so um, kind of cheesy to say but you don't want to let your friends down um, I mean obviously you don't want to let your teammates down but like there's that that fire inside of you like man I gotta turn up for like this is my dude like I can't let him down like and you know you're just not being judged at all when you're playing and it's just an overall better vibe playing with friends obviously people say you shouldn't do that but this is one unique situation where I feel like we're all really talented players we know how each other play I know how their minds work I know like when somebody's struggling how they're gonna act how to boost them up and what I need to do um, you know to get them to feel good and to get them to play their best I know what I need to do for that because I've been playing alongside them in tournaments and uh, just playing alongside them for years and just we're all good friends so I think that's an underrated element of Call of Duty is um, the chemistry that you need as a team to be a cohesive unit and to be you know top teams consistently because if you look at Call of Duty's history the, the team or it's been pretty inconsistent in terms of who plays as well I mean other than like one or two teams maybe in this game but uh, the teams that have reigned and won a lot of championships have been friends in and out of the game and it really helps a lot so individual talent is, is a major role in you know in Call of Duty but um, it's it's still minor in my opinion compared to our chemistry because there's not many teams that have great chemistry but yeah anyways enough of that I'm really excited to be playing with them I think that we're gonna be a solid team and with the right work we will definitely turn up at Worlds um, we're definitely gonna have to put in the work we're gonna have to grind um, I was telling them last night like in the text chat I was like I love working hard and it makes it even better that like everybody on this team wants to work hard so uh, as long as we just play this month a lot and I'm looking forward to playing like to actually working I'm looking forward to that I don't I don't usually look forward to scrimming and stuff uh, ever in my COD career and I've been playing for 10 years so that says something and um, I'm just hungry again I want to play good and I want to prove to people that I'm a really good player so uh, hopefully this all works out for the best I think that um, it will but anyways, moving on, let's talk about Black Ops 3. So, Black Ops 3, all the league stuff got announced. Um, they announced $3 million in prize pool. They announced uh, the league, the Activision League. So, they said that there will be uh, 8 NA teams. Uh, no, I think they said there will be 12 NA teams. So, that leaves a lot of room for teams to get into this league. Um, the way you qualify, they haven't really announced yet, but they did say that there'll be some qualification um, tournaments and stuff like that in December, and the league starts in January. Um, like I said, 12 teams. Uh, there's a three. There's a two million dollar. Uh, no, three million dollars in prize pool. Excuse me. And the uh, COD champs is in fall. So that's like some of the news. Um, there's also another qualification method for amateur players throughout the year so the best talent stays you know um so people can see the best talent and so ams get a chance and that's going to be going all the all year long i'm not sure how that operates exactly i'll put a link to all the uh details and stuff below but basically what you need to know is activision starting their own league so that's developer support so that's what we've been waiting for for years i never thought ever i started playing in call of duty 2 i believe i'm the longest lasting pro um and I never would have thought that we'd be, you know, at the day where there's three million dollars in prize pool just from Activision. We have developer support. They're tweeting about it, writing articles about it. They're reaching out to the teams, and I never would have thought that we're, we would have an, a league from Activision. And like, this is something that I've wanted for so long since. I, don't, I can't even remember and it's just awesome to finally see and it's awesome that I'm still playing when this happened so hopefully you know I can you know turn up next year too 
and you know seize this opportunity that is being placed in front of us but I'm just so excited for the growth of Call of Duty and for all of you guys who are, you know, are just getting into it. It's only going to get better and like I said, I've been playing for 10 years. So 10 years ago when I was playing 360 after, you know, coming home from 7th grade, you know, geometry class, it's just like awesome to see it grow this much and hopefully, um, you know, more kids will be inspired like I was and, you know, now they have better tools and stuff to get to the top and, and all that stuff. but. Just remember, if you do want to be a pro and stuff, just keep grinding. And this is the year where you can make a name for yourself. So um, shout out to all you guys. And thank you guys for the continued support. Shout out to all the new Optic fans that are checking out this video and stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoy my content. I make a bunch of cool videos if you want to go check them out. I think they're cool at least. But anyways, thank you to, to Embos and, and uh, you know Hex and everybody for this opportunity. And thank you for watching, guys. Peace.